a, a year in, how often are you feeling the urge to be like, fuck it, let's just go get some more coke? A year in, you're still skittish. Are you oh, yeah, skittish, Bob? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you skittish? Yeah, I get skittish, skittish, you know, big time, man. You know? For me, it, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. And this is, because for everybody it works differently. Do I believe in the 12-step program? I fucking do it 100%. Right, absolutely. Whether it's food, whether it's gambling, whether it's, you know why? Because you get to be around people who have the same problems as you and they have the answers. Right. To your questions, one of those persons, one of those meetings, it's going to get some. Have the answer to mm -hmm. your questions. Trust yeah. me, I went to a thousand of those meetings that I didn't want to go to. Right. And if I tell you that sometimes I was bored, that's the truth. But I got to tell you that sometimes I took some great info out there. Yeah. First of all, I stopped feeling pity for myself because even though I was homeless, this motherfucker lost an eyeball. <laughs> you know, he wow. did so much coke. His fucking nose collapsed. Oh, you God. Know. You know, Stepped I mean, gun, man. so when you go there, you, you know, you Playing go, a gazoo right through his septum. I remember one septum. time when I went to, uh, one of the first times I went to Weight Watchers. Right. The girl said to me, she goes, if you think these are bad in Hollywood, go to the uh, control groups, they call them, or something. Yeah, women's it was like group. like a Wednesday night. It wasn't a women's group. It was like a Weight Watchers group. Right. Uh, fucking, I went down there. And I was the fattest guy in the room, and I felt good when I left right. because I heard people crying. And I could tell that these people go home at night and eat a whole bag of cookies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, they're crying even though they go home. I don't know what we're doing. You know what you're fucking doing. Right. You're going home at night, you're eating a whole box of fucking donuts. That's what you're doing, you know? <laughs> and you, you know, so going to a 12th step, I think, is great for anybody. It wasn't going to work for me. <laughs> like I knew I wasn't gonna go to the meetings. I knew that one day I'm gonna get up and go fuck all you motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just worked the twelve steps without going to meetings. I did the evaluation. I did step four. Right. I did all those things. You know, I gave myself up to a higher God. You know, once I started doing those things, I started doing those things in my life. I took those twelve steps and I worked them in different aspects of my life. Again, right. you can't apologize to everybody. Right. But you got to apologize to most people and yeah. they'll take your apology. And that takes a ton of weight off your shoulders. Yeah, big time. You know, yep. you know, I called all those club owners that are probably still waiting for me at the yeah. airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, it, it's keep the club open till nine. Yeah. Tell them that the show's You can take my week's pay, man. You just I mean, pay it was me. just crazy. I, I remember guys going, so are you going to be here or not? And I would be playing with them at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My plane's coming at 840. All right, we'll push the show back till nine. Oh, you just can't. You can't be this dumb. Once the guy's not there at four, cancel. Right. But get go, go, go. Tomorrow night. Sorry, people. We'll give you a fifteen back. We'll give you a coupon off to come see Ralph Carey play the drums or whatever the fuck it is. How long did it take you to earn that trust back for some of those clubs? Fifty percent of those clubs aren't even around. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. The other 50%, it, it took a while. It took a while. It took a while of showing up with other people. Sorry, you're not going to hire me anymore as a personal thing. But if I see Pablo's down, I'll come down. And when Pablo's there, I won't drink. I'll do 20 minutes for Pablo, and I'll get my car and go home. And then it took about two years. And then yeah. the guy from da Dan, from the improv, called me like in 2009. Right. Yeah. And he said, will you start a room here? And I go, well, they're mad at me. And he goes, I'll take care of that. And the rest is history. There was never a problem there anymore. Once I got off the coke. It's crazy how, like, something that's so, like, just a night can, like, fuck up years of your life. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's uh, heavy stuff sometimes, those nights, you know. To be a manager just starting and he's giving out refunds, you know, he's looking like that too much. And, uh, yeah, it's just... Um, your word and your promises you make to these guys just about you know i'm gonna be right there and then you don't show up yeah it's it gets um and, and we do a tough job not again i'm not patting myself in the back uh breaking my hand to pat myself in the back but we go to a place that's called the road and the road is a great place to do comedy and for musicians and stuff but it also has a lot of pitfalls yeah yes, sure. well, what pitfalls pitfalls are you know, uh, me, Pablo, 
Artie Lang. Once the word gets out that you party, people come to those shows with the intention. You can say anything of you uh, party. On the radio, you can just say, get some theorem and all. Yeah, and we'll have it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've had people say to me, I've been on the road for 20 years, and not one time have I gotten coke. Talk about it on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done coke in four days, but I'm ready to rock, and everybody will laugh and giggle. Mm -hmm. But there's some motherfucker at the house going, I know exactly what yes. he's talking about. Absolutely, yeah. I'm going down there to bring him some shit to kill his wig. <laughs> and next thing you know, you know, and women, you know, women show up with coke or drugs or whatever, you know. And I've had road stories where your tunnel drop. Women who've shown up with dates. Yeah. And have <laughs> combination told, drugs, too. You get crystal in there. You're yeah. And they'll say, I'm eating that box back like fucking hour. Buster Rhymes, man. Go drop, drop this yeah. fucking thing off and come back and get you with coke. And it's, you see addiction. Like, I, I sit here and think about it now. You know, I always tell my book agent, I want to write a couple books. I got a couple books in me because it took me, and I think every addict has this, that they look back at their drug use and go, I could write a book. Yeah. On the steps of the detox. You know, it's like when you quit smoking cigarettes, there's a guide somewhere. I think it's online. The seven first days, what happens within the 24 hours you don't smoke cigarettes? Right. What happens within 24 hours, 74 hours, a week, three months, nine months, 12 years, they tell you what happens to you. Do you think you saved? Like, I know, I know for a fact, Pablo, that when I went up on, when I got high the night before, my comedy on stage the next day would also be 50 50. I felt yeah. disconnected. Yeah, it, would, uh, it does take it away sometimes, man. It, that's, it's kind of spooky. It's, it, you try to think about it, and then like, it's, it would take it away just when I would get on stage, and then I'd get it back. But yeah, I started finding out that uh, I couldn't, uh, you know, stay, I couldn't last too long, man. I was to do like 20 minutes, you know, when I was supposed to do a half hour or whatever, but. Uh, you know, it's just good God, man. And forgetting a lot of things, you know. Did you ever get high and go on stage? Oh, many times. The yeah. night before? Oh, yeah, many times. I had to get good sets, but, you know, did I have a good set? You know, sometimes I just go up there and just tell the jokes real quick. Jump in topic to topic, spin it around, get an idea, write it down. So I had other friends that were doing it, too, with me, you know, on the road. And, uh, you know, it would be, it'd be like uh, we'd challenge each other, but then we'd drink. And it was just a game of just... You know, not, it wasn't a game. It was just partying, June shows. You know, it's like, uh, it's incredible. The people you meet there, they come right in the green room. They start partying. You just got to let them do it. But like, so, you know, you, you're on stage during the first show. Go, man, I know they're doing bumps back there. You know, and the second show comes. Okay, I want to do a bump with them. And then everything starts changing. So How's your life changed in the last year? Save money. <laughs> I got money. No, but, uh, and uh, what else? You know, just. My health is better, you know, I've got more strength and, uh, you know, the ideas come up a little bit more clear, but uh, other than that, man, it's just, I'm still smoking cigarettes, you know, so just well, popping listen, things. Well, listen, we all can't be 100% perfect. Yeah, but yeah, cigarettes, okay, man. just remember, listen, cigarettes don't make you cancel a gig. Bro, cigarettes yeah. don't make you... Get a jet. Get a jet, you know. Do, yeah. Cigarettes don't make you do a lot of things that cocaine would you know the impulse that you get from doing coke like right now mm -hmm. between you and i mm -hmm. i still have three or four qualities left from doing coke that and i haven't done coke in 12 years like after effects that sometimes i laugh when i'm doing right. you know uh, I, I have more control now in my in my body and my mind I see sometimes that you have still after mm -hmm. effects. Like there's still some residue. Oh, yeah. uh, not with your speech, but uh, with, yeah. Yeah, with, with my speech, speech. My speech. I find speech. myself, you know. Yeah, it's but I was, I was always like that since I was in third grade. But uh, it's, uh, I, I have noticed that, you know, I still haven't articulated some of my my language. No, stuff. it takes time. Yeah. I know that sometimes Everybody. with your speech and with your, uh, I have the same thing, the same little manic. Yeah presence that you have because right. i noticed it in yeah and people go so you're making people nervous i go man i'm feeling good right now i'm you know i'm journalized but uh yeah it's, but 
Yeah, cool. no, it takes it takes uh, it takes a while to lose all those. Oh, absolutely. But listen, man, I'm happy you're putting it together. That's oh, what I thanks, want. Man. You know, there's a lot of people that listen to these podcasts and they get different things from them. You know, I think this is the the one that hits home the hardest with this podcast is when people come on here right. and share their struggles to let people know that we put our pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> <laughs>